up, though? Welcome to Quintessential. I am your host, Travis, a.k.a. Mr. Clark Scent, a.k.a. Mr. Quintessential Sentiment. Today is our first review of a fragrance that just came out. I wanted to do a fragrance review on it. And that would be my first fragrance review for everybody out there in YouTube, VO, YouTube land. All right. This right here is my trusted uh, magical box, AKA the Fortress of Sentitude. And every now and then it gives us something very special. And right now we have a new release. I checked it out this morning. Dolce & Gabbana, the one gray. Now I'm not sure if it's gray the one or one the one gray, I don't know which of it is. It's kind of confusing. I don't know if it's gray, Dolce & Gabbana, the one. I don't know. It's one of those, all right? I know a lot of you guys like to look at the box. So here's the box. I don't, I mean, it's gray. I don't really know what you want to do with it. So this is a flanker of Dolce & Gabbana, the one, a very popular series of uh, fragrances that people have that, that Love. I think it came out in like 2008 and everybody loved that fragrance. And I actually have the, you know, the EDP version. Now, this is a Eau de Toilette, Eau de Toilette version. And just like the first one, this, it smells really nice. I'm going to just put that out there. It smells really nice. I like it. It's a lighter fragrance than the original, um, uh, the one. It's a lighter fragrance and it's not as sweet. The original one was really sweet. I used to get a, a, a sweet tobacco. This one is not that. It still has the same DNA, but it's just a little bit more light. So this one, um, it smells really good. When you smell it, it, it still has that DNA. It still has that woodsy accord and everything like that. Now, in the notes, it says that grapefruit and cardamom and a couple other fragrances. I'm not a big notes guy because half the time I don't smell that stuff. Like the lady who sprayed on me, she said she thought she smelled coconut. I don't get coconut from this. And I don't, and the coconut is not one of the list, but I have no idea what she was smelling. But, and she, then the note said grapefruit. I don't get that grapefruit. I don't get the citrus or anything like that. Other people say they have smelled it. I don't get it. Um, I get more of the woods, the more of the, you know, the vetiver and that, that earthy type, but it's really light. So where I see people pulling this off at, as a daytime, more fragrance. The one EDP for me is more of a nighttime fragrance. You know where a good place to, to rock this would be? So if you go to a day party. If you go to like a day party or a day function and it's real relaxed, casual, like if you're going on a date um, during the day, like a lunch date, or if you're going on um, like a hike or something like that, and you want to still smell nice and fresh, I think this one works. I don't know if it's worth the $88 or $95 after taxes, that I paid for it. Um, I don't think it's worth that. Uh, but I do think that there is a place for this. So if you can pick this up on the gray market, see what I did there on the, on the gray market. I know, you, I, I know you saw what I did there, but if you guys pick this up on the gray market at probably around 50, 60 bucks in a couple of months and you guys can wait for it, I think that'd be a great pickup. I just don't know if I want to spend $95 because I may end up taking this back and switching it out for something else. Just being completely honest, I may end up doing that. I haven't decided yet because I am a, you know, I love fragrance. I love collecting. You guys let me know in the comments, should I keep it? Should I not? Should I decant this and give the samples to everybody? If you like this type of video, please keep watching. Like, comment, share, subscribe, hit the notification button so you can get notified every time I put out a new uh, video. And see you guys next time.